back. And she swallowed it. That is a monster. What's up you guys? Trevor Randall's Outdoors Iowa here. And as you can see, it's dark out. I got a pretty good light going though. So this is a video I've been wanting to get for you guys here lately. Um, cleaning a flathead catfish. And I was just lucky enough, my buddy Charles, let me hand this down a little bit for you guys. My buddy Charles caught a flathead tonight and she was not revivable. She's on just about stiff so he gifted her to us we're gonna go ahead and clean her up and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it so first things first whenever I get a flathead I'm getting ready to clean it you got to bleed out a flathead when you bleed them out leaves the meat nice and white really clean so all I'm gonna do I come down here by the till and just above where the fin starts I cut all the way down to the bone both sides all around now you can take the tail the end of the tail and twist it and you'll feel it pop that bone and you'll go ahead and pull this piece off the end of the tail or cut it looks like I'm gonna have to cut it and now she's ready to bleed out so as you can see it's gonna get messy have a spot in your yard or put it back in the water with a rope on it or hang it from a tree or a post and let it bleed out it takes about 30 minutes to bleed out completely so i'll see you guys here in a little bit when she's done bleeding out all right guys so she's good and bled out now or actually i think it's a female i'm pretty sure it is uh checking the vent holes two holes means female one hole means a male so she bled out little bit of blood still coming but i it's it's three it was a little after three o'clock in the morning so i'm ready to get started on there all right so when you start i like to use a regular flay knife and you want to make an incision up here by the head you can actually take your fingers and feel where the meat starts so you want to go just behind the head and you want to make a cut right up against the spine so the spine is going to be right in the center and I come across a bit. So basically you're just putting a, a hole in the skin. Come over on the other side, do the same thing. So there's a starting point. Now we want to take, and we want to use this knife and down the center line of this fish, you have the whole skeleton. So you start on one side, come on down in it, and you'll run this knife up against, like you'll feel it, all the bones. You want to run this knife up against those bones and hug it pretty tight. So you don't want to waste any meat doing this. This is such good meat. So we'll run just about an inch deep going all the way down. You can even put your fingers in here and you can feel these bones that are inside and just stay off to the side of them. And we're going to go until we get past the dorsal fin. And about level with the pectoral fins down here. So there's one side. We can now go all the way down. So these rib bones, when they come off this fish, they come out sideways. There's actually a line right here that marks the rib bones. And you're gonna be loining out this flathead, almost like a deer, right off the top of those rib bones. So now that you're already down there, all the way up against the uh, bones, run your knife all the way down to the rib bones, and that'll separate all the meat from the vertical bones of the fish. So. If you want, you can keep just going right on down 
nice easy cuts make sure that you're getting hugging those bones you don't want to waste any meat all right so i went all the way to the bottom of the tail all the way down so now i'm going to come over on the other side of the flathead do the same thing that way i'm done on the top you can see i'm just separating this meat right off the bones so easily Sometimes on your first one, it's kind of hard to figure it out. But once you clean a couple, it's pretty easy to clean these fish. Usually I even do them on my tailgate of my truck. Okay, so both sides all the way down. Now we're going to come up here to where we made those original incisions. And we want to work our way around and separate this fillet from the head. And then we can start pulling it off those rib bones. I'm going to flip her over so I can get a better angle at her. So I just come in, come all the way up to the head, and then just work my knife down. You'll feel the bone and the back of the head. And once you get to the rib bones, that's where you want to stop. I'm working with limited light here, so I hope you guys can see this. All right, so I got it started here. Now I'm, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in up along the, the vertical bones here, the spine, and I'm gonna turn that knife and come over the top of those rib bones. Like I said, those rib bones come out sideways. So we come down, hit the rib bones, and we turn the knife. And we can basically Peel this meat right off the top of those rib bones. So you feel, once you get to the end of the rib bones, you have the skin. And you're gonna wanna cut through that. So I just lift up on the filet, and I cut the skin all the way down to the end of the rib bones. So I hope you guys can see this. And try to turn her up a little bit so here's all the tops of the rib bones here's the red meat that follows the lateral line on the fish and we're just peeling that meat right off those rib bones and then once we come down towards the end we can start finishing out our fillet so there's the end of the belly and the rib bones right here you want to try and make sure you leave those on the carcass you don't want to have bones if you can help it in your filet. All right. Now we can take, turn the fish, so I can get a better grip on it. We can turn her up on her side. This table's pretty slippery. Like I said, this is a lot easier on my tailgate. Up on her side. Now we have the rest of the flay to finish out here. You can see all those bones that we were just following. I mean, there's a little meat in between the bones that you can't get with a knife. That's what you want. You want to clean this fish as good as you can without wasting any meat that you can help. So right there. Is a boneless fillet. Skin on, still fat on it that you have to pull off. Still red meat. I'll show you guys how to do that here shortly. All right, so now, other side, same thing. So I'm just gonna try to zip through this pretty quick. All right, got the other side done. Boneless fillet. So now, best part of fly head, hands down biggest you know the the most meat we're going for the belly meat so now you see where the top of these rib bones are right here that's what we pulled the flay off of the belly meat starts on the bottom of the rib bones and you come up follow along up here underneath the fins around and then you want to end right here across these pectoral fins these aren't the pectorals they might be pectorals. I'm not sure. I'm tired. <laughs> so 
So, all we're gonna do, just have a starting point. Let's see. I am going to start all the way up here by the fin. Feel where the fin is, insert your knife, and come around the fin. And I mean, you guys wanna be careful, you guys wanna be, you wanna be real precise with this because there's a lot of belly meat in these fish and pan is it good so follow this fin up and around I might even come down along the bottom of the jaw this would be a good angle to get that so now you get down through here you're in the gut cavity try not to puncture all the guts if you can help it All right, so you can see we've got a start here. Now we're going to come up. You see the bone right here behind the fin. Come up to that bone. And then we're going to follow right along with all these ribs, right along the bottom of them. Basically scrape the knife on the bottom of them. That gets all that precious belly meat. And you can see the line right here. And you're just going to follow these rib bones all the way down to these fins. All right. You can separate some of this gut liner. So now I'm going to go on the other side. Follow along the bones, the fin, and along the rib bones. And then we'll have this slab of meat right off. And I'll show you what to do with it next. All right, you guys. Struggle a little bit. This table is really slippery when it's wet. Look at this chunk of meat, though. Just massive. That is some of the best meat on a flathead right there. And it's a steak. So, minus the paper towels in the way. I was trying to use those to help keep it from slipping around. If you take a look at this fish, there is bones, bones. This fish looks clean. It's pretty clean. Flays, belly meat, everything's gone there. Nothing's going to waste. One of these left is bones. Now, guess what? There's one more piece of meat on this fish. And it's just as good as the belly meat. It's just a lot smaller. So, they actually have cheek meat up here in the head. So, what you want to do, you can feel it. You feel where it starts. Feel bone. And you want to come in right in front of that bone. And you're just going to do follow along there's a divot in the head and it's going to come down beside the eyeball right beside the eyeball kind of cut down around the eyeball now you're going to fillet this chunk of cheek meat off of the skull so bend that knife get that sucker going down in and we're going to get that sucker right off I think my knife's going dull on me. Just right up against the skull. Keep on going back. And wait till you guys see this piece of meat. Keep on going back till you get to the skin. And then once you get to just skin, get your fingernails up underneath the meat. And you can peel that meat. right off the skin usually holy cow that is a chunk of cheek meat and that is some good stuff right there let me get the other side and then we're done with the carcass all right guys that is cheek meat fillets and belly meat all off this flathead there is 
no more usable meat on the flathead. Um, someday, I have been told the head makes a really good soup or broth. I would like to try that someday. That day is not today. Okay. So now, you've got all this boneless meat with skin on, red meat on. Here's what you're going to want to do. I'm gonna clean my hands first. Now, you can use a regular flay knife to do this. I like to use my electric flay knife. So, I start halfway across the flay, and I'm gonna go down, but I don't wanna go all the way to the skin. I wanna hold it up a little bit. There's all that red meat that's up against the skin, and you, that's not, you don't want it, you don't wanna taste it, you want all white meat. Same thing with this meat right here. You can see that it's fat across the top. We'll be cutting that off later. So I separate this filet right in half. So I'm gonna go down, not all the way. I'm gonna hold this knife up. You'll lose a little bit of white meat, but cleaning off the red meat is a lot easier doing it this way. Now, you can see, it has all white meat there. I could have held it down a little closer to the skin. I'll show you guys though. So I got a little bit of red meat on that one and this is still a usable piece of meat. So I'm gonna use it. You know me, I'm not gonna waste it. And the bowl, but now you can see this red meat down here on the bottom. That's what you don't want on your filet. There's gonna be more towards this end though. So let's go ahead, continue on from where we're at. I'm trying to get a little closer to the skin this time. I don't wanna waste any meat. So you can see we still have red meat on the filet that we're gonna to to clean off. And then we got rid of a lot of it right here on the skin. That's what you don't want is all that red meat. So. The next thing you want to do, now this piece right here, other than cleaning up so you can see that white silver skin, that needs to come off. I am due for a knife sharpening. I thought this knife was sharp. Okay, so that white skin is off. There's no fat on here. That is a, oh, there's a little piece of red. Just like this, just flay it right off of there. That is a completely clean piece of flathead fillet right there in the bowl. Now on this, I will take, and you can see the red line right here. This is that center line on the fish, lateral line. And I go straight down on each side of this red line. And you'll be able to see this meat when I'm done here. So now you can see there's some red meat down here at the bottom of the tail. That cleans off really easy just by filleting it right off. You don't have to go too deep to get rid of it. You don't want any of that left on your filet. You can see this yellow meat right here. That is all fat from the fins. You want to cut all that off. You don't want any of that on your filet either. One more chunk right here. That is part of the tail meat right there. Completely clean. There's a few little pieces of red meat I'll clean up in the house. Now, you can really see this now. You've got where that red line is that went straight down the middle of the fish. You can see all that red meat right there in the center. So now you're gonna take, and this is the rest of the filet. 
and you just want to follow along this red line see if we can zipper <laughs> zipper a flathead I don't think we can nope gonna have to cut it all right this is all red meat a little bit of white meat here if I try to save it you'll see all the red Everywhere I can get little chunks of meat though. I try to get them. So I exposed all the red meat there. This is all junk meat here. So now this piece. You can see all the red meat on there. So we want to flay it right off of here. You don't want any of this left on the flay. Alright guys, there you go. Clean piece of the rest of the flay. We got a little bit of pieces of red meat. I'm going to clean those up when I get in the house. All right, you guys. Finishing out with electric flame. I'm trying to go a little faster. Clean piece of meat. Awesome. Hey right, guys, now we're at the belly meat. So the gut lining here, you want to get rid of that as well as the skin. You don't want either of those on there. I'm gonna be using an electric knife. There's a center line right down the middle of the belly. You wanna start right there and come across this belly meat. All right, right off the skin, we have red meat we're gonna take care of. Flip it over, do the other side. There's the skin. Now, easiest way to do the belly meat, split it in half just like the filet. You're going to do a couple halves even. Oop, look at that, a little bit of skin. We're going to get rid of that. All right, right in the middle. You can hold that tight towards the bottom because that's just the gut liner. There's no red meat down there. All that side is fresh, clean meat. Red meat's on the other side. Flip it around, slay it off of this side. I'm hoping you guys are learning some stuff from this, from, from this technique. Um, took me a while to get faster at doing this. I'm a lot faster when I'm not tired. And a lot faster when I'm not running the camera. <laughs> I 
And I haven't cleaned near as many flathead as I used to. I used to clean a lot of them, but I used to cook a lot of them too. I used to feed a lot of people with flathead. All right, look at that. No gut liner, but we still have the red meat on the back side of the belly. So what are we gonna do? This is gonna get cut up to cook anyways. Let's go ahead, trim off this piece here. I don't like that. We're gonna go ahead and flay it again. This time, there's no skin on the backside. It's just the red meat. So hold that knife up just a little bit. It works with a regular flay knife or electric flay knife. Right down the middle. Hold the flay knife up. All white meat. And that's belly meat. That's the good stuff. We'll even separate it. You're not losing much there. Like the red meat's right there. That's not what you're supposed to do. Once again, split the belly meat. Hold the knife up a little bit. No red meat, clean belly meat. All right, you guys, that is it. Oh. So that is about two gallons of clean, no red meat, no bones, flathead, white meat. This stuff is killer. They are so worth eating. The texture is awesome on them. They're such a good eating fish. Normally I don't keep the bigger ones anymore. This one didn't make it. So that's actually also why I'm cleaning her in three o'clock in the morning. Cause she wouldn't have made it till tomorrow. All right guys, so the next step, make sure you take it inside, rinse it off real good. You take a real close look, make sure you got all the gut liner, make sure you got all the red meat. If there's anything else, that's where you trim it up. You can freeze it, uh, freezes really well. And man, I'll tell you what, next step, put it in that hot grease, because this stuff is amazing. If you guys haven't checked out my sour cream fish, that is my favorite way to cook flathead. Now granted, it tastes good all different ways, but that crispy breading with a big chunk of bite-sized meat, man, that's so good. So leave a link to that up above so you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys give it a try. Hopefully you get a flathead. I'm hoping you learned something from this video. Maybe you guys picked up a faster technique than what you do already. Um, I've basically, I've cleaned a lot of flatheads, found my way of doing them the fastest way I could and the cleanest way I could with as little as work as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is now four o'clock in the morning. It's a good thing I got to work tomorrow night because I can sleep through the day. That's the, always the good part about staying up late. I'm going to get this flyhead inside, get in Ziploc baggies. I'm going to save some for tomorrow before work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and, and maybe you took something from it. Go ahead and leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There will be more stuff just like this. And I'll catch you guys later.